Hello. So, feeling inspired to share a channeling that I did yesterday. And it's called Three Ways You Can Work With Your Angels as an Empath. So we'll just begin that in a moment. I am just going to refresh my page and just share into my groups. Resume. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> just had this thing um, that came up and it was like, I just disappeared. So in a minute, I am going to be talking about three ways you can work with your angels as an empath. First of all, I'm just going to share my video when I can actually see myself in my Facebook groups. And then as well, if anyone wishes to join myself, my mum and myself, in our angels and guidance group we are going to there i am be doing uh, some card pulls and some weekly guidance weekly messages and that will be at seven if you would like a message if you just go into the group and just put your name below so i'm just waiting to there it is just share to my groups on Facebook uh, shared once just let me know if you're watching in the comments I will begin in a minute once I've shared this video happy Sunday everyone hi Kat hi Lily okay now I can start <laughs> right so hello Sharon okay so just to let people know I am going to be live in a little while uh, with my mum in our group angels and guidance hi Melvin <laughs> hello long time no see <laughs> um, we will be in our group in a little while and we will be doing uh, live card pulls there and messages from your angels uh, today right now i'm just going to be talking in a minute about a channeling that i did yesterday around three ways that you can work with your angels as an empath so it was quite a lot of information and i recorded it and then so i've written it all down so i am going to be reading information today rather than kind of speaking or channeling intuitively but i felt like it was a message that I just wanted to share on Facebook Live. So I will be reading it. Hopefully that won't be too kind of distracting. So first of all, I just want to tell you a couple of things. So first of all, my name is Amy. If you haven't um, come across my videos before, if you are joining me on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this information if you do find this valuable. So I'm an angelic Reiki healer, a light language channel and a coach for empaths so just to let you know a couple of offers that i have on at the moment so at the minute i am doing a program called the energized empathic entrepreneur coaching program and it is for empaths that are ready to manifest their healing gifts into a successful spiritual business so if this is you then you can check out the links below or send me a message on facebook i do also have angelic empowerment sessions which are for empaths that are ready to manifest a loving connected relationship and are ready to let go of feeling oversensitized and feeling anxious at work or in busy environments. Hi, Alison. Okay, so today we're talking about three ways in which you can work with your angels as an empath. And then, of course, I will be doing some light language, spoken sound, uh, channeling frequency after I've let you know what, what they are. So I am going to be reading these three ways and i probably will put all of this into a post as well because i've already got it all written down so don't worry if it seems like a lot of information um i'll write i'll share the post as well so you can copy and paste it or keep it um as a reference as you need to okay so 
going to be reading it as I say so the angels want us to know how important daily clearing is for empaths especially when spending time in busy environments around lots of people with lots of various like kind of different frequencies so one of the best ways to do angelic energy clearing is to simply call on them and imagine them surrounding you with white light okay so I've got ahead of myself there so way number one because there's three ways is daily angelic energy clearing so clearing your energy daily okay so as i mentioned one of the best ways to do this is to clear your energy with the angels is to simply call on them and to imagine them surrounding you with white light okay so then imagine at the top of your crown chakra and you can do this now as i'm speaking because all three of these are kind of little guided kind of meditation so i'd invite you if you are watching this and just to close your eyes and just to receive the this information to receive this um, transmission. Okay, so imagine at the top of your crown chakra, there's a swirling funnel of white angelic energy from us. Okay, so us being the angels. So we are surrounding you now, interconnected and holding hands. As we do this, we are sending the intention through this white funnel into your crown chakra sending the angelic intention through your crown chakra okay so now imagine that this energy is sweeping down throughout your body past your brow past your nose past your throat past your shoulders past your chest past your stomach and past your hips then past your legs and then past your feet and as it does so, it sweeps away and cleanses anything that you have picked up that is not supposed to be there and doesn't belong to you. And as you breathe out this white funneled energy from us, it releases from your system. And as it releases, it is transformed by us back into love, back into the oneness of all things. OK, so that was way num that was number one. Way number one of working with the angels as an empath. So daily angelic clearing. Okay, so the second way you can work with the angelic energy as an empath. The second way is by setting the intention to raise your vibration daily. Okay, so for this exercise, I now invite you to call in pink light and to feel this pink light surrounding you like a cylinder. So this tube or cylinder acts as a catalyst for raising your vibration. And for this exercise, we call in Archangel Jophiel, the Archangel of Joy. So you can work with her and imagine her beautiful pink energy emanating throughout your being. You can see this energy radiating from your heart space. As it is radiating from this space, it is opening you up like a many petaled rose. You can now exhale and know that your vibration has risen. When you raise your vibration, it makes you much less susceptible and less influenced by lower vibrational energies. Okay, and the third way you can work with angelic energy as an empath. So is through forgiveness and through radiating love. Okay, so when you see something as an empath that is not to your liking and you feel like your vibration is lowering, you can send love and angelic energy through your intention to the person or to the situation. This then stops you from taking on that energy or from absorbing it because you're saying you're then saying to the angels, angels, please help that person. Please help that situation. And then you can trust that through your intention, it has been done. If you are to go ahead and help on some level in the physical, on the physical plane, then it will always feel good. It will always be done from a state of overflow. Okay. And it will not be done. You will not be helping from a state of depletion or from a state of guilt. So you do not need to take on that person's energy or emotions. You simply ask the angels to intervene or to assist and then if it feels good you then extend and naturally help if you are called to okay it is then up to that person or the situation as well of course as to whether they accept your help energetically or physically okay because humans are beings of free 
will okay so that help or that healing or whatever it is you've sent always you send it to the person's higher self and then it is up to them as to whether they are willing to receive that okay so just to free just to recap the three ways that you can work as an empath with your angels okay so number one daily angelic clearing by a body scan and white light number two raising your vibration okay in the pink cylinder with archangel jophiel number three is forgiveness and radiating love outwards and angelic healing radiating love and angelic healing to others through your intention okay so that's the three ways as i say i will write all of these i will put these in a post and in an email so that you do have them hi amy thank you for joining um so now what i am going to do is i am going to send some light language spoken sound frequency healing that will just help you to integrate and just to embody this information okay so if you just would just invite you now just to close your eyes and just to receive this healing so spoken sound transmission um it is received through the heart it's not received through the mind okay so when you hear this it activates codes within you and it allows you to receive new information new energy that will keep you in a high vibration high frequency okay so we'll just do that for you now okay so an ukura ikashta ikuru malata istuka entaika no kasi etush nikara koselea staka kishto kura na maka ista kit a la kinta ishto kura nikia no atara na maka ista kia Shuena hasi ko santara no ko iaki katosha la kamara na kisa si kashu no tora i na hayeta iko sia ma ai kashi inko si la kara no ko si tara no kaito si ena hankara tea si kata ika maka ita isa iki si na haru ko si katena na no ko si kata ye ela kara no kai maka isa ita tu ka inka ita no na kia ushna tea matora si ela kara ne kito si kiara just taking a couple of deep relaxing breaths here just making the choice to fully receive and just to fully embody that information now okay so that was three ways to work with the angelic energy as an empath so um just to let you know as well me and my mum and i will be um in my angelic guidance group uh, later on we will be pulling cards for people if people would love to join us there so it's always a lot of fun and um, you just turn up and just write your name uh, in the comments uh, ways in which you can work with me as well hi sharon you're welcome um so ways in which you can work with me as well so i am currently running an a program called the energized empathic entrepreneur and it's it's for empaths intuitives healers and spiritual creatives that are ready to manifest their spiritual business start getting paid and for what they love to do leave a full-time job this is something that i've done recently the miracles continue to unfold every single day of my life is just i cannot tell you the difference i'm so so happy i'm happier than i've ever been and i just feel like i just want to share this information with everybody because it was so easy and i spent years and years going around in circles not knowing what to do and spending absolutely thousands of pounds on like all these different coaches and it, in the end it was just really easy and this is what i teach people in this eight week coaching program if this sounds interesting to you then please reach out to me i offer free calls for this i do also offer angelic empowerment sessions for empaths and this is for you if you struggle in your relationships and you are now ready to manifest a divine partnership somebody that um is committed to you somebody that is sensitive and loving and if, yeah if you're sick of manifesting toxic relationship cycles and you know this is you this is also for you um if you are somebody that struggles with anxiety uh, feeling overwhelmed and feeling burnt out in the workplace and busy environment so you also learn 
in these sessions how to connect with your angels and receive a daily spiritual practice as well that you can take away with you and that will keep you in a high vibration okay so that's it for now as i mentioned i will put all of this in writing in a post so that you can keep it do what put it in your fridge and remind yourself every day of how to work with the angels okay lots of love and blessings to you all and i will see you soon